This here is a 2006 MagSafe charger for the original MacBook Pro. I bought it off eBay and it's never been used. I'd like to see if it still works after all these years and possibly get it to charge my 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro. So let's open it up. Next, let's see if we can get the charging indicator to show up by testing it on my old 2007 MacBook Pro. Yep, let's do a quick boot. I haven't turned this machine on in quite a while, so let's give it a go. Awesome, looks good. Pretty cool to see a 17 year old charger working after all these years. All right, next, we'll need some adapters to test this on a modern 2021 MacBook. First, we'll need a MagSafe 1 to MagSafe 2 adapter and secondly, a MagSafe 2 to USB-C adapter. I tried to find if there was a direct MagSafe 2 to MagSafe 3 adapter somewhere in the wild, but have been unable to do so. If you are aware of one, feel free to share it below. So, getting back to the USB-C to MagSafe adapters. The first one here is from Elecjet, but this one is not available on Amazon or their official website at the time of this recording. However, searching on eBay came up with a few listings for it. I also got this BE branded one from Amazon. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, which is still available, but I'm not sure how this one will perform considering some of the negative reviews it already has. First, let's test the Elecjet one. Looks like it still works, but checking the system settings shows that it's only outputting 45 watts, which is surprising since the chart on the instruction manual indicates that an 85 watt adapter should output at least 60 watts. I'm not really sure why this is, but I'm wondering if it has to do with the older circuitry of the first generation model. Seeing that it still works, I think this can still be better than nothing, especially if you're in a pinch. One thing to keep in mind is that charging speeds can slow down quite a bit if you're doing processor intensive tasks. Since the wattage is less than what the computer typically requires, it may take longer than normal to fully charge and the computer may even stop charging completely if you're doing quite a bit of work. All right, let's see how this other branded one compares. I haven't tried any other brands other than Elec yet, so I'm interested to see how this one fares. Nothing. Well, looks like this one's going to be a no-go. And it just started charging and discharging right away. It's possible I have a defective unit, but then again, some of these brands on Amazon can be hit or miss. I also tried this with and without the MagSafe to MagSafe 2 adapter to troubleshoot, and it still didn't work. It doesn't need this piece apparently. In fact, I noticed some strange ticking sounds and flashes coming from the connector. Have a listen. Yeah, probably not a good sign. I ended up chatting with the supplier on Amazon about this and they told me I could just get a refund. If you do decide to find another brand other than the Elecjet one, I would make sure to fully vet the reviews first. So there you have it. If you have an older MagSafe 1 or MagSafe 2 charger just sitting around doing nothing, these adapters can put them back to use. Since these aren't Apple branded or certified by Apple, I would use them with caution and at your own risk. Personally, I've been using this adapter for well over a year on my MacBook Pro at work and haven't run into any issues. The battery health on that system is still good and holds a pretty good charge. If you want to learn more about this adapter, CJ Ying put together a pretty good video which you can check out here. That's going to do it for this one. If you liked it, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.